Hello there, everyone. So, some of you might be wondering, why are we on the Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom's Toho Wiki page? Well, there's something I need to bring up. Um, actually something to show you. So, right over here, it tells us a few things. Now, this is a modern 2015 game. And so, the requirements of it seem pretty standard. You need 256 megabytes plus the virtual... Uh, not virtual RAM. Video RAM. Why do I keep saying virtual? I'm sorry. I meant video RAM. Okay, now that that's settled with. So, you need 256 megabytes plus a vi video RAM to be able to get this uh, to work, right? Right? To test this out, we have brought ourselves a, another, another... We'll bring out the Windows XP Virtual Machine yet again. We have given Windows XP a video memory of 4 megabytes. I could have given it less, but the thing is, is that every time I tried to give it, like, anything less than 4 megabytes, Windows XP would not boot. It would just blue screen. So... We're just going to boot this up right now. So here's VirtualBox. You already know about it. And here's Windows XP. Loading up. Like you'd expect. Hey, wow, we booted that up in less than five seconds. Congratulations. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead. Now, as you saw there, we're running this thing with, um, four megabytes of video memory. So, just to show that again, here's, like... Thing. In Japanese, it's all in Japanese, but um, right over here it says video RAM, and it's at 4 megabytes. So this pretty much confirms that we are running this at 4 megabytes. If you if you can't read Japanese, you can confirm this yourself by looking at the English version of this dialog box, which you can get to from the properties tab, the properties for your desktop. Click, click, pro, click, click advanced, and then you go here, and it says VirtualBox graphics adapter. Alright, so now that we've proven that we're using only 4 megabytes of video memory, we're going to go to our E drive over here. We're going to go ahead and open up TH15. Right over here. Start. Now, as you can tell here, it's working. Sort of. Well, actually, no. It is working. Now, we'll have to test out gameplay real quick. Now, as for me, I suck at this game. So, yeah. We're just going to test out and see if it's actually playable at all. And, it is. Like, I'm barely feeling any slowdown. We're running this with 4 megabytes of video memory, by the way. How many times have I said that, by the way? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Now, while playability is one thing, we're only at stage one on hard mode. There aren't very many bullets on screen. So what do you do? You grab a replay from somewhere else. From, like, someone else who posted a replay. Now, this isn't me playing it, this is some other guy. Uh, wait. Replay. Some guy named Colette. I don't know who you are. But you played a Sun Eye. And we're gonna go to stage 5, which has the most bullets. Let's see how this runs. We're running this at 60 FPS, Mike. Might not look at, like it on the video, but, um, yeah. 4 megabytes. This game is not very intense. In terms of, like, uh, video memory. We're gonna fast forward right here. Still running at close to 50. Or close to 60, I mean. Yeah. I don't know. I'm tempted to believe that this thing here isn't really giving me the true virtual memory, but... No, video memory. But, um... Why do I keep getting those two PCs? I'm sorry. I should be calling it video memory, but I keep calling it virtual memory. It's not. Virtual memory is a totally different thing. But, um, anyway, that's a little off topic. I don't know what to say here. It's... 
Uh. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that that's actually the correct amount of video memory that's being supplied to Windows XP. Because when I tried it, I tried it with less than 4 megabytes, Windows XP would crash, so it's obvious that it's only giving it 4 megs. So, this game does not use very many textures, sure. But hey, that's what I got it for. Hey look, it's this token. Yeah, I'm not playing that anymore. But, um, yeah, if anyone can explain what the heck is going on here, I'd like to know. I mean, of course, nowadays it'd be pretty impossible, pretty much impossible to find a uh, graphics card that supports four megabytes of uh, re video RAM, and yet still support Direct 3D and all that. But hey, nice to know that you can do something with that. Like, I could try another game. Like, we could try UFO here, and it works perfectly. I guess, though, to end this off, I mean, I should probably at least prove it to you that running this thing at, like, less than 4 megabytes will crash it. So, I'll do that. Sorry that this video's been kind of all over the place, it's just I've been wanting a, an excuse to make a video, so... You know how that goes. And now we're gonna stop this. Like you do. And then we're going to go ahead and go to display, turn it all the way down, go to start. As you can see, it doesn't even show the friggin' background to, to boot it up. But here it is. Blue screen. Okay, I think that might have, um, restored the last good configuration, I don't remember. Yeah, you see, it's not gonna work. So, yeah. As you can see, you can run the Toho games at, with less than, with, well, not with less than, but with less than 64 megabytes of video memory. So, yeah, it is less than 64. Um, anyone can take a gander as to why it runs this low? Anyway. Thanks for watching and paying attention to my rambling on of everything. So, I will see you in the next video.